Good afternoon and welcome back to our discussions on accounting. And today, once again, we'll get into the accounting for income tax or accounting for taxation, which I mentioned that is governed by accounting standard. In India, it's called AS22 and IAS12. Um, one important point which we saw in the previous discussion, that accounting profit is not equal to tax profit due to the fact that accounting is governed by the generally accepted accounting principles and the tax is profit is calculated as per the tax laws. So the accounting profit, well calculating in the income statement, as usual we deduct sales, COGS, operating expense, depreciation, amortization and interest. And interestingly, if you see COGS, depreciation, amortization to a large extent are governed by the accounting assumptions. So that means the accounting profit is subject to accounting assumptions. So profit can be managed by managing these assumptions. Tax profit is a taxable income minus the allowable expenses minus the deductions. This allowable expenses and deductions are given by the tax laws of the respective countries. So therefore, tax profit depends on the tax policies of the country. As a result, the tax profit most of the time will not be equal to the accounting profit. And the reasons for these two differences because of the permanent differences and some are called because of the temporary differences. As we saw, the permanent differences arise because of the tax policies and temporary differences arise because of the accounting policies. For example, suppose we take a very simple example to drive in this difference. If I say sales is 50,000, expense is 10,000, profit from free trade zone is about 10,000, the asset is 50,000 and depreciation for accounting is 25% and depreciation for taxation is 50%, it's possible that the methods may be different, the rates may be different. So accounting profit here, if you see 50 plus 10, that is the free trade zone profits, minus the expenses, minus depreciation, that comes to 37,500, where the tax profit comes to 15,000. Let us understand why 37,000 is not same as the account tax profit, which is 15,000. The reason is um, that the profit in accounting is calculated by using a depreciation of 25%, but the profit in accounting is in taxation is calculated by charging depreciation of 50%. So therefore, here the profit is different only because of depreciation and the FTZ profit, which is not included in a taxable income. So, in this case, the accounting, as we see, part of the profit is, is the difference is due to permanent differences and part is due to the temporary differences and the temporary difference is depreciation. So, what is accounting treatment in this case? The accounting treatment that in an income, ta income statement, you should show the current tax and the deferred tax. Current tax is as per the tax law. And what is this deferred tax? Deferred tax is defined by the accounting standard as a tax on the timing difference. For example, we saw that depreciation was the timing difference there, which is equal to 12,500. So the deferred tax is 30% of 12,500, 3,750. So let us see how it appears on the income statement. That means in the income statement, you show tax expense as DT and CT. In the cash flow statement, you show the actual cash paid, tax paid, that is CT. And in the balance sheet, you show DTL or DTA. If the tax expense is greater than the tax paid is a DTL. If the tax expense is more than the tax paid, uh, if the actual tax paid is more than the expense, then there is a DTA. So let us see how it appears. In the first year, you show the expense as CT and DT. In the cash flow, you show that as outflow. 
and in the balance sheet you show that as a DTL. So subsequent years it looks like this. In the subsequent years if you observe that the deferred tax is slowly becoming negative, the actual tax because of the difference between the tax profit and the accounting profit and on the balance sheet the deferred tax liability stays for the first two year then a deferred tax asset comes into. So I have shown that in a both ways I can show DTL or DTA or I can sum them up and show on the balance sheet as a net DTL. Many companies show as a net of deferred taxes and most companies also some companies also show DTL and DTA separately. Now what is this observation? So DTL the related question uh, may be that is DTL a liability? Is DTA an asset? That is an important question which we pick up later. If you see therefore under the, tax, under the accounting for taxation important terms are accounting profit and tax profit, temporary and permanent differences, deferred tax and the current tax, deferred tax liability and deferred tax assets. As I mentioned two important questions which will remain with us for some more discussion. How different is deferred tax liability from other liabilities? How different is deferred tax assets from other assets? And how does the investors or analysts or managers treat and observe this DTL and DTA and what is the relevance of DTA and DTL? Thank you very much.